Hey guys, Coach Bill here with Tennis Anyone. I'm just gonna do a quick video for our coaches only regarding the Chino Hills location. So we've had to get a little creative, which which is fine. You know, it's uh, unusual times and so requires a little bit of creativity. The Ayala High School courts, uh, a lot of you know that the price went up about 400% on those courts and so we're just not able to use those at this point in time. So Grand Avenue Park, Roller rink area is actually going to be um, the short-term, mid-term, and who knows, it could be the long-term location for tennis classes in Chino Hills. Because we're using a shorter court, we're only gonna be working with peewees, beginning juniors, and intermediate juniors only. Um, once we get back onto larger courts, uh, then we will uh, reintroduce advanced classes as well as adult classes. You've got your restrooms right here, which is fantastic. They do have two tennis courts over here, and so probably my guess is on the first day of class, you're probably going to have some parents that end up over there. So best to send one of the coaches over there every time we have day one of class just to uh, pull people over to the, uh, the roller rink area. I'll be sending out an email too to parents to let them know that uh, classes are actually at the roller hockey rink um, as opposed to the tennis courts. So you'll walk right in through this gate here. This will be open. And uh, whenever we're running classes, there'll be staff working in this office here. So you can always knock on the door. If there's nobody that's there, then that means they're probably walking the park somewhere and you can you know, look for somebody in a, in a uh, Chino Hills Parks and Recreation shirt. So here are the courts right here. They're playing some pickleball right now. <laughs> and I'm gonna poke in just really quickly. So there's uh, court one right here and then court two and court three. Uh, for the time being, we're going to have two locations set up. We'll have a, a net on this court and a net on that far court. Uh, so we'll have a lot of space in between the two courts. For what we're doing, we're using different nets that are on wheels. And so if you ever come and the nets are on courts one and two, you could always wheel one over to that third court. There won't be any parents allowed uh, in the courts at all while, the t while we're running classes. Uh, no spectators in the courts as well. So it'll just be the tennis students. Parents can watch right over here. Perfect spot for them. Uh, before class, I would line the kids up here right along this wall. And again, that's where everybody's gonna come in through, but they can line up here along this wall. And you may wanna create a situation where they come in through this door, but then they leave through the far door. I don't know if you can see there's a far door over there. And that way you don't have people interacting back and forth and congregating um, in between classes. So when you get here, the courts will be set up by, by staff. So the staff will be actually setting up the nets. They'll be breaking down the nets. Our coaches will be bringing their own ball hopper, their own cones, their own colored spots. Any equipment that you need for class, you're going to bring. The city will set up the nets and break down the nets. If you ever have any uh, issues, for example, you might have hockey players that come and they wanna you know, play on the far area of the rink that's not allowed you can always kind of flag down a, a park uh, staff member and they'll help with that that being said the park house staff will be checking as well here's that back exit that the students would come through and then they'd exit back through this direction and that way we don't have a lot of uh, cross congregation if you will of of students um, so that's where we're at and i'm looking forward again it's a creative solution but uh you know what we're going to call this home for now and uh, we'll use it and we will, as always with Tennis Anyone, make it work. Thanks guys, have a great day and looking forward to tennis in Chino Hills starting back up.